What's going on guys and welcome back to the Newport County Road to Glory career mode. It's episode 31 and today we are going to be going through uh, the end of October into November as we continue the season along. You'll see here that we are 14 games in, sitting in fourth place, one point above Sheffield Wednesday. We have 26 points from the first 14 games. A good start to our first season in the championship. Now for our first game of this episode, we are going to be hosting Middlesbrough at the Ronnie Parade and getting into this one early. We're within the first 10 minutes and we come forward here. Lee Jenkins with a nice turn and he's able to blast this one past the keeper, leaves him rooted in his spot to give us an early 1-0 lead. Jenkins getting the start in this one, trying to get him some more playing time as we try to continue his development. Still in the first half here, and we would come forward again. Aziz this time, feeding Marsh into Jenkins once again, and we're looking to come forward. Uh, eventually, this ball ends up with Moss, and he is able to finish this and uh, at, score a goal, which has been rare for him. He hasn't been able to score many goals this season. Uh, but it's nice to see him get involved in the play. Into the second half now, and we have a corner. This one is going to be whipped in by Ibrahim Marsh, and we are looking to target Alex Wynn. Uh, the corner is going to come in, and Wynn loses his marker completely, heads it down into the ground to put us up 3-0 over Middlesbrough. And uh, this at this point, this one is in safe hands. We have a three goal advantage with only 20 minutes to play. Middlesbrough would capitalize off of a defensive error here. They get a couple lucky bounces and eventually they would score to get a consolation goal uh, and bring it back to three to one. Off another corner here, we are able to get this ball back in. Uh, Hopkins goes to Conlin and then Aziz. Aziz finds Marsh who finds Thomas Risky and Risky scores a rare goal for him and puts us up 4-1, restoring our three goal advantage and putting this one uh, in the bag. We get all three points out of this game, uh, 4-1 against Middlesbrough at home. After that game, you'll see in the starting lineup, we have Alex Bennett back. This is his first game back, and we are playing Brentford, traveling to Brentford, uh, looking to uh, get some points off of them. They're, I believe, second in the league right now, or third. They're having a very good season, and we would start off the game uh, in the 27th minute with a nice finish from Telford. Uh, I knew that this game was going to be a difficult one and there weren't a lot of chances in it. They would come forward with only eight minutes left to go. Ivan Tony leading the charge as another error here is going to give them the ball back. Shepard passing it straight to Tony and eventually they would work this one into the box. De Silva finds a wide open Ivan Tony who levels it at one five minutes before the end of the match. And we end up with a 1-1 draw against Brentford. Not a terrible result. I will take that one. Uh, they're a good team. And getting a 1-1 uh, draw isn't too bad. Into our scouting reports now. Going to England and nothing much from England right now. Uh, haven't gotten a good prospect from there in a while. But we do only have a one-star, one-star scout there. To Scotland. And we're looking to see if maybe we have some potentials. Uh, here and we do have a couple of prospects that look all right Lucas McKenzie has a 74 to 88 potential. He's six foot six Which really intrigues me because he's a goalkeeper. So I do sign him up uh, and we'll see What his potential ends up being if he could be showing great potential or above um, I'm, I might have to see if I can get him involved in in, in the squad uh, being 6'6", six, six, you know, that's incredible for a goalkeeper. Over to Wales now, and we are looking through not many uh, prospects here. We do have Amir Don, I believe. Uh, I'll have to check my pronunciation on that one, but uh, we are going to sign him up. And then looking at the rest of the prospects, we're going to leave a bunch of them here to get scouted uh, further. 
So taking a look at the Youth Academy, and this is what we have so far. Uh, we have a pretty good mix of players. I'm pretty happy with what we have. Uh, some of these players are going to want call-ups at the end of this season, and you know we're going to have to try to free up some spots for them. I know it's going to happen. Um, I'm probably going to want to call some of them up before, uh, probably around January, so that they start getting playing time. But uh, as you can see here, we have a, a, a few, fair few players in the 60 overalls, which is good to see because that means they're really close to starting quality for our team. Uh, they can come in and make an immediate impact. Amir Don here ha is a 53 overall, but he does have really good potential. Has some nice stats, especially in the physical uh, section, and some nice curve, long shots, dribbling, things like that. He's only 16. Looks like he has some decent potential, so we could get him involved uh, in the squad. We'll have to see what ends up happening and how many spots we have open. Into our next game, we are going to be going up against Preston at the uh, Rodney Parade as we host another game. And 16 minutes in, Alex Bennett would get involved in his first goal back. He crosses this one in and Alex Wynn uh, boxes out of the defender and heads it home to put us up 1-0. And Bennett is involved in his first goal since returning from injury. Only a couple of minutes later, we come forward again, Sheehan finding Telford, and Telford would hit Bennett. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and this one is ending up in the back of the net. Alex Bennett scores his first goal back for the club after a two-month-long injury where we definitely missed him. Uh, Marsh stepped in very well uh, at the end, but we really missed having Bennett in the squad. And we weren't done in the first half here. Telford with a beautiful little finesse shot from the top of the box to put us up 3-0 over Preston North End in the first half. And this one was over as soon as we got to halftime. And it would stay that way. We win 3-0 off the back of three first half goals against Preston. After that, we received a transfer offer for Joss Labadai, and I'm going to immediately accept this. It's from uh, the Earthquakes of the MLS, and we're going to accept that one and send him to uh, the United States at, uh, in the January transfer window, freeing up another spot. Into this game against Coventry City, and they would come forward early looking really dangerous. Walker with some nice skill moves to beat Conlon, and he's going to put Coventry City up 1-0. And just before halftime, they would come forward again. Walker involved once again, and Coventry City doubles their lead to put themselves up 2-0. 20 minutes after the restart, we would come forward looking to get back into the game. Bennett finds Telford who is going to hit this one into the bottom right corner to cut the lead to one goal, uh, only down two to one at this point. And we are looking to get back into this game. 10 minutes before the end of the match, Bennett comes forward once again, and he is going to lay it off to Telford, who finds Marsh. Marsh plays an incredible ball to Bennett, and he finishes it to level the game at two. We come back from a 2-0 deficit to knot the game up at 2. And that is all this game had. They score two first half goals. We score two second half goals. And we pick up another draw in the league. Into our final game for this episode, we are headed to England to face off against Rotherham United. And they would score an early goal here coming forward, uh, working it around, some nice passing, and eventually they get it into the box. Lindsay hits it near post and beats Townsend to give them an early 1-0 lead. We would respond though almost immediately. We come forward, Bennett with some nice play on the outside of the box. Eventually this will end up with Telford and he hits a rocket into the top left corner uh, to knot this one up at 1-1. Bring us back into the game. We weren't trailing for long in this one. Uh, and right as the second half started, we would come forward again. Hopkins gets in behind immediately. He's going to finesse this one into the corner and give us a 2-0 lead. Uh, sorry, 2-1 lead. 
coming right out of halftime puts us up by one goal. But they would come forward looking for an equalizer just before the end of the match in the 82nd minute. They're passing it around here and eventually they would get us, they would catch us out and Coyote comes forward, he shoots it past Townsend and gets Rotherham level 2-2. But with just a couple minutes left, we were looking to come forward and find a winner. Telford here holding up the ball, looking for an opening. He's going to find Bennett. Bennett is going to lay this one off uh, eventually to Telford, who rounds his defender, stops, and finesses it. He's able to score a goal to give us the 3-2 lead with uh, just seconds left in the game we would be able to hold on to that lead and we beat Rotherham United 3-2 in a thriller late on so 19 games into the season and we have 37 points we are one of the highest scoring teams in the league our defense isn't that great but we have a crazy 45 goals in 19 matches looking good so far as we near the halfway point of the season but that is going to do it for this episode of the newport county road to glory career mode if you guys did enjoy it make sure to drop a like on the video comment down below let me know what you think and subscribe if you are new and i'll catch you guys soon with a new episode